Thanks for watching. My name is Tibi. I'm an affiliate of Sensorica. If you're watching this channel, it's probably because you're interested in Commons-based peer production, um, open innovation, open source development, peer-to-peer um, -peer economics. Um, so this is the type of subjects that we um, address um, here on the Sensorica uh, TV channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my recent visit to Cuba um, a few weeks ago. Um, it's very interesting because I, uh, when I travel, I contact people locally and I connect with communities and individuals that are involved in maker spaces, fab labs, common space peer production, open source development, <clears throat> to exchange to exchange notes. Um, we've been with Sensorica running a um, type of makerspace uh, for almost 10 years now. And um, I like to um, talk to people to see um, the problems that they're facing and the solutions that uh, they're implemented for some of these organizational problems or, or economic problems, so on and so forth. So here I am in Cuba um, a few weeks ago, which is a very different context um, it is, you know, the post-Castro Cuba trying to understand uh, its new role in the world, trying to understand how to open up the economy, uh, how to open up democracy, um, and um, the economic context and the political context is it's very different from what we have in the Western world here, and, and mostly here in in Canada. Um, so it was a very um, uh, interesting experience. So when I travel, I send an email uh, to locals or post something on Facebook. And the idea is to uh, try to spend a few days with these individuals and exchange notes. So I did the same thing when I arrived in Cuba. Uh, and the way I found this community um, is through a blog post uh, post um, that I'm going to share uh, in the video. Uh, and they were talking about a new makerspace in Havana um, and how things are going, the type of projects they're working on, and um, some of their needs. So essentially the blog was saying, hey, here's a cool community that is you know, one year and a half old in Havana. It's the first makerspace. Um, they're trying to find their model and how to exist in the Cuban society. And here's some cool projects that they have. And if you want to help them, this is what uh, you can do. Uh, you know, a list of some electronic equipment that you can bring, uh, you know, help them a little bit financially and so on and so forth. So it turns out that the uh, um, main facilitator and coordinator of this uh, of this first makerspace in Havana. Uh, the name of the makerspace is Copincha. And the, the founder and the main, the main uh, facilitator and coordinator, uh, his name is Mauri. Um, and um, he turns out to be a wonderful guy. Uh, he once turns out to be uh, more the philosopher of the community, uh, the one that holds and shapes the values around which the community is built. Um, and uh, very, very, very interesting guy. Um, and the lab was made in his apartment um, in Havana. And it has attracted a pretty wide community, if I'm not mistaken, um, between 20 and 40 people. Uh, visit the community in a, on a regular basis um, to uh, work on different projects, uh, to conduct some workshops and, uh, uh, and also some presentation events. Uh, the normal kind of activities that you find in other fab labs and maker spaces around the world. So um, there is nothing really different when you walk into Copincha. Um, other than being, you know, a new fab lab and and in need for, for more electronic and, and mechanical tools uh, to better serve its community. But there's nothing new when you walk in it. The field is the same. And the people that come, they kind of have the same the same values and are anim animated by the desire to collaborate together and design something together and to hack something together and to learn 
uh, from each other and from the experiences that we have. But it's very interesting to understand how this space projects itself um, in order to be able to exist in the um, Cubans' political climate. Um, you know, um, the party uh, that is ruling the country um, is a little sensitive to people gathering together in a space, um, playing with some technology that can have an impact on that society when it comes to, for example, peer-to-peer uh, -peer networks for communication. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very sensitive issue. One of the things they cannot work with is long-distance Wi-Fi uh, communication hardware um, that allows people to do create mesh network and then um, get access to the internet and, and distribute that uh, and and potentially um, you know potentially organizing as a political force through this underground peer-to-peer -peer network so the government is a little sensitive about that it doesn't mean it doesn't exist uh, actually what I learned when I was in Havana is that there is already a mesh network <coughs> in place MacGyvered by the Cubans um, uh, these these uh, young um, uh, engineers and, and technicians um, mostly used to communicate uh, among themselves and play games play games online um, and it's tolerated by by the government but um, the idea is that these little spaces now that are emerging like Fab Labs and Maker Spaces um, these little spaces where people get together to either play a game or or, or to hack something they become nodes in this uh, in this network, and it's a it's a very interesting phenomenon. Uh, but let's go back to to Maui and to Kopincha, the uh, the first makerspace in the, in Havana. It's very interesting to see how they how they project themselves um, so that they could be tolerated by uh, by the party uh, by the government uh, and and uh, not set off some alarm bells. Um, so that they can be shut off, which is a possibility. Uh, any, uh, at any moment, the government can come and decide that um, you are no longer fit for the Cuban society, and, and essentially decide to shut shut your operation down. So they're very careful about um, how they define their identity. Um, since it's an open lab, it's not an underground secret lab. Um, it has to uh, find a way to exist within this environment and be accepted or tolerated uh, by the local government. So I had a very long discussion with um, Maori. I spent um, a whole afternoon uh, with them at the lab. I also met a very other interesting uh, guy, more uh, the, of the, the entrepreneur uh, style, uh, that has um, uh, pretty good experience with 3D printing and had opened uh, a 3D printing workshop or, uh, or 3D printing shop in, 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 in his um, house, uh, providing some services to the companies. Uh, owned by the government around uh, and, and to some people and <clears throat> making a lot of noise with uh, his 3D printing activities um, attracting even the attention of uh, the local paper um, and um, at some point um, um, this uh, very passionate individual had to um, uh, slow down the operations because he got uh, very busy with some, with some other jobs um, Offering services, um, and also in, in in prototyping and 3D printing and artistic design, and uh, in to the state state company. So this is that's that's his job, um, and he has less time to operate his 3D printing um, shop at, at home. Um, but he's very interested in how Copincha evolves, and uh, with Maori, he's trying to find. Um, a way to make the lab be sustainable <clears throat> again in an environment where private business it's starting to be tolerated by the Cuban government um, uh, and, uh, so it's a it's a very tough problem to solve um, interestingly enough I met Maori who's the philosopher the philosopher of of the Copincha community and I met this other guy that is uh, the entrepreneur um, uh, of this community and it was very nice to see how both uh, work with each other uh, the tension that arises from <clears throat> the entrepreneurial side uh, and the philosophical side but also the complementarity among themselves <clears throat> uh, 
uh, and it was nice to see how they cope um, with uh, with this tension and exploit the complementarity to make the lab thrive. So I recorded my conversation with Maori and I, I invited to to have um, to, to listen to it uh, and. Uh, Please make some comments uh, below. Um, if you go to Cuba, uh, you'll find the links in the video below to um, learn how to find Copincha and how to contact the community. Uh, and if it happens for you to be there, um, please go on their Facebook page and uh, ask a question about their needs. And uh, you might be able to help this community um, develop a little further. So, enjoy the the video. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Maori from uh, Havana, Cuba, and I'm visiting one of the first fab labs, right? One of the first maker spaces in, in Havana. I try to just join people in my house and look what happened. You know? mm -hmm. And the first idea was uh, just create a, a physical form and like some kind of peer-to-peer uh, -peer or friend-to-friend -friend network and um, look uh, what the people, how the people make things and bring the idea here and share the ideas and uh, we start first with, um, with Arduino courses. Uh, I so you got this book, right? Yes. This book from uh, I use. Uh, I I invite first uh, Simon Monk, the the author, the author of these books, and he bring bring us uh, the first Arduino course, and this this action create uh, creates uh, uh, the first uh, was the first step to create the energy that move the community, mm -hmm. a kind of community that works until now. No? That okay. are, so now we are more big. Uh, we, are have, we have some, so many pro course, courses. We have a uh, provincia organized like a, a kind of network of, no, of different interest nodes. No, uh, nodes of interest. Yes, yes. And uh, for example, one node is a CNC machine, or one node is uh, 3D printing, fa 3D printing fa fabrication, or one node is um, ar uh, ar just Arduino, or make, make things with Arduino. And uh, the idea is to generate all all time. Uh, it's, it's like make actions um, that move uh, to invite people to make another note and of interest, uh, right? Eh? Right? See, make an yeah. other note. This uh, sometimes is like a kind of uh, speculative uh, actions. Uh, we try to make uh, all propositions. Uh, maybe say, okay, let's go to try to make something with Arduino and the modules and looks what happened, what people come. Uh, I am, uh, I work for the government, uh, like uh, for gift drugs uh, in China. So I bring all the woods that is for, all, all uh, this wood that is for the boxes of the components of the forklift trucks here and create a, a kind of functional, um, uh, furniture that uh, I can uh, move and transform the space, uh, whatever the, the function, the function that, yes, yes, yes. that we are making. Sometimes so you make it modular and yes, very modular, and, adjustable, and, right? For the and needs. have the possibility to make flat. Pincha is, is a project that is all time changing the the the, the forms that work is. It's more like a lab of collaboration. Of collaboration, it's more like to see uh, how you can collaborate and know so so much uh, how you make things. It's more like uh, uh, understand how you can collaborate to 
to to, say, to make things in the in the reality to, to change. Yes, yeah, so it's more about the process and the design of the organization yes. more than the things that people design. Yeah. For me, the the most important thing is is to create the energy first. Yes, and then in another maybe in another event or another practice, yeah. you have the people. So you're a community builder. builder. You're very sensitive yeah. of the human yeah. aspect. How why people get together? What is their interest? What is the process? Yeah, and how to create that interest to, to make them come back mm -hmm. to have cohesion within your community, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's like uh, you make one step. You need to uh, wait how the people receive that, and you and how you and how the people come again and then you make another step yes, yes. because future needs to be created so it's integrated yeah. right okay. uh, yeah so 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 there is a spin there is a spin on, on uh, there's, there's the some sun here there's a spin on your projects right so when you when you choose projects you said you have a spin on some sustainability okay. um, mm -hmm. there is a keen interest in this community where there is a sort of a theme that goes across all these nodes of interest, which is sustainability, right? Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell me more about that in the Cuban context? Like, why did you choose sustainability? Yes, uh, I, as my focus in sustainability, or the actions that I make, uh, is to, uh, to let, to teach, the, uh, try to teach a, or, or give a, a, to the people the, the possibility to learn how uh, how they make things with the things they have, the, the ma take the maximum approach of the things they have. Yeah. So I, I create more like a resilience culture okay. or resistance culture yes. in, in the cultural, yeah. uh, in the material culture. Yes. People need to understand the technological world, the technological world, or the world that they live. Not in the old time in the same in the with the aims of uh, we have the in the end, the aims of the development that uh, capitalist world yes that is what aims no? that yes. capitalist world uh, promotes no? yes so just making gadgets right? yeah making just gadgets. making gadgets and cool things or it's just more like a, how how you have the resource now and you, you can make things now. Yes. Machine uh, is make it is a, 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 a small, small CNC, CNC yeah. machine. And it's made for C D and drivers. Yeah, it's made for that. So but the people that make that uh, have the, the knowledge to understand all boards uh, and the recycled boards and could have the ability to put the part of functionality that they need. Isolate just what they need, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. connect uh, one board and one board. Yes, yes. And the one, one board and another board and create the, the machine. Yes. And yes. It, for me, it's a good uh, learning yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. to understand how, how you can make things more than uh, that things look, you know? The, yes, yes, yes. It's hacking. Yeah. It's, it's, this is the, the, the whole principle of thing. The idea is now make something new. Uh, it's make uh, something that uh, that uh, it's, useful. It's, it's, it's just make something that understand the culture that you uh, that you live in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my idea is not to promote to make something new. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not for make new values. It's, it, you make new values if you need. This value yes, for, yes, for yes, to, yes. your life, but yes. uh, my idea is to think what things you have and what what the things you can recuperate these things for for the for the next step. Yes.